What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzz Warby TV. And I'm your girl, Lady T. Y'all, I am tired as all get out. But I wanted to come and kick it with y'all and talk about Tony Braxton Living Legends brand new gift that she got from her bae, Birdman. If y'all didn't hear, Birdman then sat up here and bought Tony Braxton a brand new Bentley. Not just any old Bentley, y'all. A Bentley that ain't even out yet. And I'm just like, wow. Go ahead, girl. Now, when I first heard about Tony Braxton and Birdman's alleged relationship, at first, I'm not going to lie, I was giving it the side eye. Like, really, Tony? I don't know about this. Oh no. But then I had to think about it. I had to check myself. And I had to say, self, now, if you here, if you were here for Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston, you gotta give Birdman and Tony Braxton a chance. And I say that to say because like the reason why I gave Bobby and Whitney a chance is because at the end of the day, even though she came off as, you know, this beautiful, you know, elegant woman with a voice of an angel, she was just as hood, regular, and down to earth as everybody else, as the woman that you can see at the stop, okay? So, at the end of the day, we don't know who these people are in real life. Like Tony Braxton, I don't know enough about her everyday life and who she is for real, for real, to judge and say if she's too good for Birdman or not. Like a lot of people are like, she's too good for Birdman. I don't know what the hell she doing with him, but blah, 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 blah. And like I said, again, I was giving the, I was giving the whole thought of them being together to side that too. But then again, I had to think. I don't really, none of us really know how she is in real life. You know, she could come off this very classic, sophisticated, beautiful woman. But could be, you know, that she could be like one of these down chicks who want to mess with a fuck, you know. Shoot, opposites attract. She could be just as sophisticated and beautiful and classy as she portrays, as she portrays herself to be, but... I, she like a fuck. I don't know. So, since I don't know enough, I can't judge it. I mean, really. I don't even know enough about Birdman. I know he gives off all sorts of crazy. I ain't gonna deny that. But, I still don't know how he is in his everyday life. You know. All I know is that he wants somebody to put some respect on his name. Okay? That's all I know. And he like to kiss... He's kiss men in the mouth. Which... I don't want to comment on that. But, now, with all that being said, you know a lot of people have been giving Tony Braxton grief about Dave Birdman. They just think she's too good for him. And a lot of people also have been saying that she's only with him for the money. Like, so, and especially with this new, you know, development. And thanks, Tamar. It was Tamar's Snapchat that broke this whole news and got it all in, up in the blogs or whatever. So, anyway. So, since everybody's finding out that she, you know, that she's riding around this brand new Bentley thanks to Birdman, everybody was like, huh, it's a shame that you get, you know, that you got a chase to get your bills paid and get cars. Like, she's some type of gold digger or something. And here's the thing. I personally do not think that she's a gold digger. That she like a man with some stability and a little bit of financial security. Absolutely. And I'm not mad at her because I do feel like when you get to a certain age, your priorities change. You have to think about things like that. You want somebody that has 
themselves established. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, when we younger, we date different men when we're younger than when we do when we get older. I mean, she probably thinking like, I, you know, I did the whole handsome, you know, talented but struggling musician. Now I want somebody, you know, to take care of me. You know, I took care of somebody. I want somebody to take care of me. You know, I'm sick. And maybe I don't want to be on the road anymore. Maybe I don't want to, you know, do this reality show anymore or whatever. And it'll be good and it'll be nice to have somebody to lean on. I mean, and from what I hear, you know, they've been friends for years and he's been after her for years. And so I can see him like you know, really pursuing her and she finally giving him a chance and he really courting and spoiling her to the point where her feelings for him changed, you know, spending time together, going on, you know, probably some really great romantic dates and the money's just icing on the cake. So, in that sense, I guess I'm happy for them, I guess. I, I don't know. It's just all weird to me. Even though I don't know who they are in everyday life, it is still kind of weird. I'm not going to really judge it, but it's weird. Um, so, I don't necessarily think she's a gold digger, but like I said, a lot of people are dragging her on Instagram. Like, a lot of people are just not here for her and Birdman. And then with this new, you know, display of wealth that he thrusted upon her, everybody's like, oh, you know, she's a gold digger. Like, that's the only reason why she with him. Because it's kind of like, it's evidence. It just proves their point. Because that was the first thing they said, oh, I don't see why she with him. And then, when they couldn't figure it out, they said, it gotta be the money. It just gotta be the money. Because what else could they have in common? Well, maybe it ain't for us to figure out. You know, everything ain't for public consumption. Okay. Like, again, I'm pretty sure the money is icing on the cake. But I don't, I won't put her in the gold digger category. Because to me, personally, I think a gold digger is somebody that can give a fuck less about who they with. They're just in it for the material gain. They don't care what you look like. They don't care. I know. I just said they don't care what you look like. And we talking about Birdman here. I know. Y'all going to be in my comments like, see? Exactly. Point made. You just made your own point. Because Birdman looks like, I don't know what the hell he looks like. An orangutan? I don't know. But anyway, so, but you know what I mean. Like, you don't, they don't care what they look like. They don't care what they, you know, they don't care if they spend time with them or not. They just in it for the money. As long as you lace in their pockets, they could give, they could care less, okay? I don't think that's the situation with Tony and Birdman. Like, I do believe that, you know, like I said, they've been friends for years. So, they definitely have history. And he, if reports are right, he's been pursuing her for years. So... You know, Phyllis developed. I do think it was a developmental thing. I don't think she's just like, just in it solely for the money. And I think gold niggas are solely in it for the money. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what y'all think about Tony Braxton and, you know, her bae Birdman buy her this new car. What do y'all think about Tony Braxton and Birdman's relationship, period? Um... Do y'all think she's a gold digger? Be honest. Put that down in the comments. Okay, you guys. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Peace and love.